Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Otonoke by Creepy Nuts. So I tried looking up the meaning of otonoke, and I'm seeing that the word otonoke can be broken down a couple of different ways. Uh, oto meaning sound, ke meaning spirit, mood, or atmosphere. So it could mean something like the spirit of sound or sound atmosphere, depending on the context. Those of you that are fluent in Japanese, feel free to uh, to educate me on that. See. Uh, what the actual meaning is in this context. So Otonoke is supposed to be the opening for the new anime Dandadan. I have not seen Dandadan. I don't know what it is about. Um, I have seen the name being mentioned once or twice on my channel, um, so it potentially will be brought up in the next anime poll for the next anime that I react to. And this will be the second Creepy Nuts song that I react to or have ever heard. So, but before we dive on then, guys, feel free to check out my YouTube memberships. They're only a dollar and you get early access to videos like these and also my anime reactions. Oh, cool art style. It's got the, it's got the martial vibes. Very nice melody there. Ooh, and good chord progression for the chorus. I, I love that they're singing it while also rapping it at the same time. This part really gives the song a lot of complexity or depth. Well, that was short and sweet, wasn't it? That really had a lot of similar vibes to uh, Bling 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 Born. I think they were able to copy that vibe by not only having a similar beat, but also being able to play with the rhythm uh, along with the rap lyrics. Beyond that, the song is actually quite different. So it's really interesting how they were able to capture that essence, but also do something different enough to where it's just not a copy. I think the two songs have a very different vibe from one another, so it's very hard to say objectively which one is better one or the other i would probably say from my personal taste this particular song i think has a bit more that it offers me the other one i think lean towards more fun so it could also be just what you're in the mood for i like this one because i feel like the transitions give it a bit more complexity and the chorus i feel like is a bit more sentimental sound sounding um it's got some mellowness into it and also the the, the pre-chorus the transition into the chorus I uh, had a little bit of lo-fi vibes in there too, in terms of the instrumentals. The instrumentals here. Very lo-fi. I love the way they're singing it too. Nice clean guitar and the chord progressions. Very nice. I love how they extend the chorus here. The percussions back off a little bit, so it just kind of opens the air a bit more too. They have a very nice singing voice too. So like when they, um, it's interesting that they're, they're still rapping, but they're able to make it sound very melodic. So yeah, I would say this has uh, an emotional side to it uh, that perhaps Bling Bang Bang Born didn't have, but then again, two different vibes, two different songs. And it's definitely harder for me to tell what this show is about. It definitely looks like it involves spirits, 
something between spirits and curses. And I assume we're also going to be fighting these things uh, in the anime, because of course we have to fight them. And it's probably going to look cool as fuck because these character designs are actually really cool. I love the art style. Kind of gives me very slight mob psycho vibes too. And just every character here looks like they are kind of crazy funny but also they're badasses in their own way. Like, I feel like they're all just gonna know how to fight a certain way. They're gonna be a little bit quirky. Some of them look like they might have like a sexiness to them as well, but they also know how to take care of business too. So that this, this looks like an interesting anime already. Like just based off of the intro, I think this would definitely get me to watch it. So but anyway, guys, the song's awesome. I give it a five out of five. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the reaction. That's it for me and I'll see you next time.